as you're saying about today's rail stoppage. You said earlier on the picket line that you would vote against any liberal back to work legislation, even if it's a confidence vote. So my question is, if it comes to that, if you do end up voting against the liberals in a confidence vote, would that break your supply and confidence agreement with that party? Well, we made it very clear that we would always oppose back to work legislation. I made that very clear to Justin Trudeau. I looked him right in the eyes and said, we will never support any back to work legislation. Never count on us. You'll have to go to conservatives who are the enemy of working people. You can go to yourself because we know the liberals have sold out uh, working people again and again with back to work legislation, forcing them back to work, undermining their rights. So if that's the path the liberals want to go, we're going to fight them every step of the way. We made it very clear. I said, whether it's confidence or not, I don't care. We're going to vote against any measure that attacks working people. Back to work, binding arbitration, we'll be voting against it. We'll be fighting it every step of the way. I made that abundantly clear to Justin Trudeau, and I make that clear again today. But are you willing to break this kind of confidence well, that? well, if it's a confidence vote, that's breaking the agreement. We always have the right to, to withdraw our support from the, the, uh, the agreement that we have. That, been t that's, that remains our position. We can always pull away. We can always break it. But I'll make it very clear. If Justin Schroeder brings in any measure that attacks workers' rights, we will vote against it. Confidence or not, agreement or not, we will vote against it, and we will stand up for working people. A sack of potatoes, one bag of potatoes. Oh, apples. Or, or, apples. <laughs> Some apples. <laughs> How are you doing? Four potatoes. Right on. Uh,